Hello everyone, my name is Shamika, aka Paging Eileen, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, how are you? And to all my subscribers, thank you and lovely to see you again. This is the first episode of a series I'm calling Conversations with a Naturopathic Medical Student. Consider this the space where we answer questions that sometimes we don't know how to ask while also getting real about the naturopathic medical student experience. Now, I am a former allopathic medical student navigating the world of naturopathic medical school and currently in my second year. This episode is all about course breakdown, specifically classes within your first quarter. At my school, Southwest College of Naturopathic Medicine, we matriculate on a quarter system. So in my opinion, quarter one is a pivotal quarter for you as a new naturopathic medical student because it dictates your pace within the program. So let's get started. Before we deep dive, let's talk about credit hours. My school has two tracks of study. The five-year track, which mainly divides the first year into two years by decreasing the amount of credit hours per quarter, and a four-year track, which is the one I'm on, where you carry less than 30 credit hours a quarter for a total of seven classes. So in the first quarter, if you're on the four-year track, you carry 25 credit hours versus 16 hours on the five-year track. Now we're ready. First up, we have anatomy the class where you learn all about structure, mainly anatomical structure of organs and bones, while also gaining exposure to how these structures develop embryologically. So in this class, you will learn where organs and muscles are located, what they are connected to, and where or through what structures they course through. Also innervations and blood supply. In addition to lecture, there is also a lab component, which would be within the cadaver lab or equivalent. Number two, physiology. So in anatomy, you learn structure. And in physiology, you will learn function, how these organs function individually and in concert within the body. These two concepts are important because we need to know normal function or how the body works so that we can identify when something goes wrong, which you will learn when you get to pathology. This physiology class has a lab and a lecture component where the lab is designed to help you visualize and implement what you are learning in class or lecture. Number three, biochemistry. This class is based on discussing topics related to chemical processes as they relate to organ function. This includes knowing how the body processes the food we eat or what the body does when we have not eaten for several hours or even elucidating the importance of vitamins and how the body uses them to power certain reactions. This class can particularly be tricky because you're expected to remember key processes and relative enzymes that can drive you crazy. Oh my gosh, I'm actually having flashbacks right now to all of those enzymes we had to remember. <laughs> Anyways, biochemistry is important because you need to have an understanding of how the body works on a molecular level. The information you learn in this class will pop up all throughout your other courses as you progress through the program. Number four, intro to clinical practice, or what we call clipper, is where you learn how to be a doctor to a certain extent. Consider this your exposure to learning what to say, how to say it, and how to conduct specific exams. There is a lab and a lecture component. In lecture, you will learn the topic, and in lab, you will implement what you learned. You will learn the components, structure, etc., of a soap note, or basically a write-up of a patient case in lecture and in lab. SOAP is an acronym for Subjective, Objective, Assessment, and Plan, which provides a modality for you as the healthcare provider to gain background information on the patient assess the extent of their chief concern, and establish a plan of action. There will also be a portion of this class that teaches you how to take and report vitals, such as blood pressure, respiratory rate, temperature. I would suggest you create a script to help guide you through a lot of the exams that you'll be learning throughout that course. Number five, philosophical and historical foundations of naturopathic medicine, 
or what we like to call NatMed or NTMD, because it's literally the course code. <laughs> Here you will learn the history of naturopathic medicine and get exposure to the various modalities within naturopathic medicine. It's a nice class, and it's definitely a change of pace from all of your other classes so that you can actually enjoy the information that's being presented without being scared that all of this information is going to be on an exam. Number six, Integrated Case Studies Application, or ICSA, is a team-based learning type of class similar to the one I think you'll be doing during orientation. Mainly you are divided into teams of less than 10 students and the goal is to work together to answer specific questions. It will utilize information that you already learned from physiology and anatomy classes. So it serves as a way to reinforce the information that you've learned. Now from my experience, take this class seriously, even though it's on the lower end of the credit hours because you have an individual and group quizzes, but the individual quizzes carry some weight and I made the mistake of not being fully prepared or underestimating the information. So I advise you make sure you have a good grasp of the material as you're preparing for that class to your best ability. The seventh class is research, which exposes you to the research world of naturopathic medicine and what it entails to critically appraise or analyze scientific papers relative to naturopathic medicine techniques and etc. This is a chill class that allowed you to show up, listen, and learn without the added stress. As always, I leave you with three things. Number one, success is never achieved alone. Number two, always keep a neuron open, meaning that you should always be open to learning new things. Number three, best of luck to you as you consider the path of naturopathic medical school. The program is rigorous and the reward is great. See you in the next episode. Adios.